EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchature with your outlook for December 16th, 2019. For your Monday, we have a little bit of a wintry mess to deal with today. Not a major storm by any means, but there is still some minor accumulations of snow and then freezing rain that we will be dealing with through Tuesday in some areas. And uh, in other areas, will be just be uh, changing over to rain at some point in the overnight period. I'll go through the NAM High Res Fuji Simulator radar in a second. Uh, but we basically have what we have this morning is just overrunning precipitation. There's a warm front that, uh, ahead of this uh, system as well down to the southwest. So you got a warm front that's extended out here like this. We're on the colder side of that front initially, so we are just uh, falling as snow across uh, ma mainly the central and southern areas of our coverage region today. And then there might be a little bit of a break as this first batch moves through. And then the warm front itself is going to move northward slowly through our region during the evening and overnight. And that's going to lead to some icy conditions. You have some overrunning precipitation with warmer air aloft, uh, overriding colder air at the surface. And then you get some uh, freezing temperatures uh, and ice, basically, as a result of that. So uh, this is going to go through and move move forward, uh, moving forward here in time as you get to the evening. You can see as, a, as you get through time, the warm front's going to move to the north. It's going to be rain south of that front, but along it, there's going to be some uh, some freezing rain and then a little bit of snow to the north. And you can see that here as, it, as you go through overnight could be some significant icing here in our central and northern areas. And then closest to the New York-Pennsylvania border, that would include the northern Poconos there, uh, there could be a couple inches of snow here as this does not change over just to uh, freezing rain in those areas. And you can see that right here. So this is going right into early Tuesday morning. Still could be some icy concerns along or just north of I-78 in, uh, in both Pennsylvania and New Jersey. So there could be some delays uh of delayed school, so school delays on uh on tuesday morning for areas along and north of 78 south of there i think it changes to rain we should be okay for most of those areas and as far as cancellations delays today probably not it's not coming down really heavy enough this snow to really get any uh, uh early cancellations it doesn't look like it's just gonna be some very light stuff and mainly non-paved of what falls today and then once we get into uh tuesday the precipitation should change over to rain for those marginal areas up north, it could remain frozen the entire time. And uh, we have our weather alert maps page that ha outlines our our latest call with uh, both snow and ice and two separate maps. And we did a pretty good job of, of uh, breaking down timing on the maps. We don't usually put timing on the maps, so but we kind of had to because there's two different distinct waves here that are going to give you precipitation. There's one this morning, uh, maybe going into early afternoon for some areas, and then again, uh, we get into the second batch, it'll be this evening and overnight going into Tuesday morning. So here's that first batch on the Name High Res Fuji Simulated Radar. This is starting off at 6 a.m. So you got some light snow and snow showers across uh, the, the, the southern half of Pennsylvania. A lot of people are asking why we did we not have winter weather advisors up in these areas. I think it was a little bit too early for that those areas, and, and the National Weather Service and State College did not feel it was necessary just yet because the snow that's going to be falling is going to be mainly south of those regions that are not under the advisory this morning, and generally light amounts and not really adding up to too much anyway. But the icing concerns will become will come later, so they're most likely going to issue today or this morning. And uh, then we have... Uh, this batch of snow is going to move eastward, but it's just very light snow here. It's not really a whole lot. So we don't have a whole lot of snow on our snow maps here, maybe coding to an inch type stuff. And it extends into central New Jersey. Uh, but I think it's really going to be just uh, between that coating and an inch in most areas, not really too much. But then we get a little bit of break, as you can see here, as we go through the afternoon. And then the warm front starts to move northward. And again, you're going to have some freezing rain along this boundary here as it moves northward. And then it's going to change the rain further south going into Monday evening. And this particular image here is 9 p.m. So you can see that freezing rain creeping off to the north. And as we get through the, the, the night here, uh, this is midnight now, and you got some snow breaking out across the northern part of the coverage area. Uh, central areas are still freezing rain south of 78, except for some pockets. There's changing over to rain here at this point. And this goes right into Tuesday morning. Uh, this is the wee hours of the overnight. It does change over here on the on the Nam High Res in the Lehigh Valley and uh, places along I-78. Higher elevation is still holding onto that freezing rain longer, but then again, snow just the, to the far northern part of our coverage area. That's why our snow map was broken down that way. So if you look at the weather alert, alerts maps page, it'll break down uh, in the legend when you're expecting the snow. So it'll have, you know, one to four inches of snow up in here, but those, that's not going to be until we get later into the overnight and into Tuesday morning. So 
Uh, going into Tuesday morning, then we have some might have a change over to sleet freezing rain here, even here in the northern Poconos. Might stay all snow right near the New York Pennsylvania border, places places like northern Wayne County, Susquehanna, uh, Bradford, Tioga, places like that, right along the uh, the New York Pennsylvania border. But it is going to be rain further south, just rain showers. But this is going to wrap up during the afternoon. May end as a few flurries or a snow shower, and then that's it. So that's out it for our system. Not a major system by any means, but it's going to be impactful for some areas. Uh, most prominently along and north of I-78, I think we're going to have that issue. Uh, elsewhere further south, just very minor and not really too disruptive, and we could probably deal with that. And it's not a big deal. So this system moves away, and then we are back to partly cloudy skies, breezy conditions here on Wednesday, and then we are mostly some maybe some flurries too as the system off to our north uh, rotates some uh, lake effect snow showers to the area. So you could have that here on Wednesday as well. Very cold though, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of this week. Temperatures in the 30s, maybe even only in the 20s in some places for highs on Thursday. It's going to be mostly sunny, but it's going to be uh, pretty chilly. And that's going to go right through the end of the week. It looks like we head into the weekend, and we are going to have uh, partly cloudy skies both days. It's going to turn a little bit milder, but just back to closer to what seasonal averages are for this time of year. Uh, so upper 30s and near 40, maybe even low 40s further south and east. But it does look like it's going to be dry for the moment. So I'm not dealing with we're not dealing with a major snowstorm as of now for Sunday. Uh, that some models, namely the GFS, were advertising just uh, a couple days ago. Doesn't mean it can't come back. We'll continue to watch it. But right now, forecast is for partly to mostly sunny Wednesday through Friday. Breezy Wednesday. Uh, Thursday's going to be a mostly sunny day. Very cold. Not even out of the 20s in some places. Back to the middle 30s or thereabout here on Friday. Still mostly sunny. And then partly cloudy over the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. I'm EPAWA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for December 16th, 2019. Have a great Monday.